Okay guys, we are going to continue with the second video for uh, uh, aromatic compound where we are going to start with the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Yeah. Okay, so benzene reacts with bromine and chlorine in the presence of Lewis acids to give halogenated substitution product in good yield. So the Lewis acid typically we use here is aluminum chloride or iron 3 chloride for chlorination and iron 3 bromide for brominations. Okay. So uh, the equation for the reactions are described in the table below. So for chlorination of benzene, you have benzene react with chlorine under catalyst of AlCl3 or FeCl3 to form a chlorobenzene with HCl as a side product. And then uh, if you have bromination, so uh, benzene react with bromine catalyzed by FeBr3 under reflux to form a bromobenzene and HBr as a side product here. So we're going to use uh, brominations as our main uh, reactions to explain the mechanism for the halogenations in here. So uh, generally, uh, the reaction takes place in three steps. Yeah, where the first step is the formations of the FeBr complex with the bromine. So the bromine molecules uh, act as a nucleophile and attack the FeBr3 to form a complex of Br2 FeBr3. Okay. So this complex will act as a good electrophile to attack the benzene ring where in step 2, uh, the lone pair of electron of the uh, pi bond inside the benzene ring will attack the good electrophile of the complexes. So the pi electron, will look at the way of how the arrows are attacking. So it is the pi, it is the pi electron in one of the double bond attacking the bromine which bear the partial positive charge and heterolytic fission eventually take place in here. So when this happens, so the pi bond has disappeared and you form an intermediate complex of uh, like this with FeBr4 minus. So note that in here, all the reactions in this one, this one, this one, and this one, and even this one is still sp2 hybridized. However, uh, for this uh, this FeBr3 is sp3 hybridized. Okay, so this is a slow step where it is a rate determining step of a reactions, yeah? And finally, the reactions end with the bromine molecule. Uh, the bromine molecule attack, uh, the bromine molecule, uh, the, bromine the bromide ion complexes attack the hydrogen for deprotonation. So the deprotonation will allow the uh, pi bonds to form back and neutralize the positive charge and eventually you form a uh, bromobenzene if HBr and FeBr3 is give back as the main catalyst in the reactions here. So this is a fast step of the reaction. So I want you to take a good look at how the arrows are drawn in here. So heterolytic fission take place eventually in these complexes to give out HBr and bromobenzene at the same time. So this is how you describe the mechanism of the brominations inside the benzene. Yeah? So the mechanism of chlorination is similar to, to that of bromination in benzene which involves the same two steps. Uh, so in the first step, the aromatic moiety uh, function as a nucleophile attack the electrophilic reagent, generating a sigma complexus. Then in the second step, the sigma complexus deprotonated, thereby restoring, restoring the aromatic and regenerate the Lewis acid. However, if excess chlorine is reacted with benzene, heated under ultraviolet. So this is a free radical additional reaction take place and eventually all the pi bonds will are able to react with chlorine molecules via additional reaction to form a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexachlorocyclobenzene, a uh, cyclohexane. Okay, so this is a side reaction that we discuss. So this is the first reaction of the benzene which is known as halogenation of benzene. The next reaction that we're going to see is a Friedel Craft alkylation. So Friedel Craft alkylation is covered by Charles Friedel and James Craft in 1877, make possible the installation of LQ group inside an aromatic rings. So the general equations of the reaction can be described as Rx, which is actually a haloalkane, catalyzed by AlCl3 or FeCl3, sometimes require reflux to form a LQ benzene with HX as a side product. So this reaction is now not called as Friedel Craft alkylation. So an example for the formation of uh, methyl benzene using uh, aluminum chloride as a catalyst. So benzene, benzene will act with met chlor chloromethane under the AlCl3 as catalyst to form a, a methyl benzene or simply toluene plus HCl as a side product. So the mechanism of the reaction can be described in the following pages. So AlCl3 in here will act as a Lewis acid where it 
accept the lone pair electron from the chlorine, and this will allow CH3 to undergo heterolytic fissions. So once this, uh, once this occur, you form a methyl ion, which is a good electrophile, and a complex of AlCl4 minus. So the good electrophile CH3 will attack the benzene ring, where the pi electron is used to attack with the uh, methyl ions formed earlier in the step one. So this is a slow step, and it form these complex intermediate complexes. And finally, the complexes formed earlier AlCl4 minus the Cl will attack the CH3 to deprotonate. So when the deprotonation takes place, the pi bond is formed back, and the heterolytic uh, equation, heterolytic reaction at the same time take place in between AlCl4- to form the desired product which is a methyl benzene plus HCl plus AlCl3 so these are the reactions involving the methyl benzene now some of the calculations of benzene include so if you want to synthesis a chloro uh, if you want to synthesis a ethyl benzene you use chloroethane and also uh, AlCl3 or HCl3 is a catalyst to form an ethyl benzene now, Fiddlecraft alkylation are not restricted using alkyl halide or aluminum and aluminum chloride. So, other pair reagents may be formed carbocation, especially uh, like carbocation, may be used in Fiddlecraft alkylation as well. So, for example, uh, if you want to form a middle carbon at the benzene ring, so most of the time you are going to use an alkyl catalyzed by a bronsted lowry acid. So the bronsted lowry acid promotes the formations of the carbocation. So uh, it is to say that a secondary carbocation is more stable than a primary carbocation. So that is why the carbocation are focused in this positive here and it will substitute the H out from the benzene ring to form an isopropyl benzene, also known as the cumin. Okay, so this is a very specific reaction that you need to understand. So I hope that you will be able to memorize it. Yeah? Okay, the third reaction of the benzene is the Fiddlecraft acylation of benzene, where the RCO group is also known as an acyl group. So the reaction is whereby an acyl group is introduced to the benzene ring is called as acylation. So two common acyl groups are, are ethanol group and also benzoyl group. So this is ethanol group and also benzoyl group. Huh? So in Fiddlecraft alkylations, uh, acylations, the reaction is often carried out by treating the aromatic compound with acyl chloride with the catalyst of uh, Lewis acid. Huh? So the product of the reaction here is an arrow ketone. So example, if you have a benzene ring, we act with ethanol chloride under the catalyst of AlCl3 with some reflux. So you form a, a ketone, aryl ketone with HCl in the side product. So the mechanism can be described below. So if you notice, the mechanism is very similar to that of the alkylation, where in here, uh, AlCl3 here acts as a good catalyst to uh, uh, to undergo heterolytic fission so that you eventually form a strong uh, electrophile. So this strong electrophile will then attack with, uh, the benzene ring where the electrophile will form uh, the benzene uh, ring will attack the C double bond O in here to form a HCOCH3. Okay? So this structure can be stabilized by the resonance uh, inductive effects in here. So eventually, the deprotonation takes place where the Cl from the complexes will deprotonate and form back the pine bone to form your desired product, which is an acetophenol. The fourth reaction that we're going to have a look is the nitration of benzene. So benzene undergoes nitration of reaction with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid HNO3 and concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 under reflux. So the general equation for the reaction can be described below. Where uh, HNO3, concentrated HNO3 will add concentrated H2SO4 under reflux to form nitrobenzene plus water. So, uh, concentration of sulfuric acid increases the rate of reactions because by increasing the concentration of electrophile, the nitronium ion is shown in the first two steps of the following mechanism. So, we're going to see the mechanism of the nitrations. Yeah? Now, I'm not going to be very complex because this is what actually happens in the uh, formation of the nitronium electrophile. But uh, for you all, you just have to write down this general equation. So, the general equation for the whole reaction is actually HNO3 plus H2SO4 with NO2 plus HSO4 minus, sorry, not plus, but minus, okay, uh, plus H2O. Okay, so NO2 here will act as a good electrophile that attack the benzene ring. So the benzene ring will attack the NO2 in a slow step, so you form an intermediate complex. And finally, for the uh, reactions where the O deprotonate to form back the H2SO4, a nitrobenzene is formed as a product in here. So now in step one, nitric uh, acid function as a base to accept the proton from sulfuric acid 
followed by the loss of water to form a nitronium ion. Now, this might seem a little strange because we know that a nitric acid function as a base rather than acid. But remember, acid, acidity is relative. So, sulfuric acid is much stronger than nitric acid. So, it will deprotonate the nitric acid together. Okay, so that is fine. Now, the product U, nitro benzene, is a yellow liquid yellow oil liquid under room temperature pressure. So therefore, this reaction is often used to distinguish cyclohexane and also benzene, usually. Okay. The benzene can also be fa uh, formed when the reduction of aniline by using hydrochloric acid in thinner. So, um, you have nitrobenzene. When you react with tin with HCl under room temperature, you form aniline. Last but not least, we have sulfonations of benzene. So benzene will add with fuming sulfuric acid at room temperature to produce a benzene chloride. So fuming sulfuric acid is sulfuric acid that is containing mixture of H2SO4 and also SO3. So sulfonation also takes place in concentrated sulfuric acid alone, but more slowly. So under either condition, the electrophile appears to be sulfur trioxide. So this is the general equation for the reactions in here. So the mechanism for the reactions can be explained below. The SO3 is protonated from SO to form SO3H. So here, uh, where H2SO4 we add with uh, SO3 to form HSO3 plus plus HSO4 minus. So the HSO3 plus will act as a strong uh, nucleophile where the benzene, the pi electron from the benzene ring will attack it to form this intermediate complex. And finally, deprotonations will take place. So this one will not break. Uh, so uh, this one will not break. So the deep protonation takes place in the sulfuric acid to form back the catalyst in here and form a benzene sulfonic acid as a side product. Okay, so uh, that is all for the mechanisms for the uh, five basic uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So we're going to continue in our next lesson. See ya. Thank you.